welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Louisiana Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 17. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. receiver. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Maybe a yard on that draw play. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. run there. Fires to the wide out. First down. He might have a chance. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Here's the eighth play of the series. Oh, and big hit there to stop it. has a nose for that first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And they make the stop at about the seven yard line. And 
is immediately tackled. That's a three-yard pickup. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Oklahoma gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisiana Tech's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. But it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out right around the 48-yard line. That's a deep First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 33. That makes it first and 10. Hey, Mike 20, Mike. And he's tackled at the 22 yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Tackle at about the 21. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Louisiana Tech is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Tackle made at the 43. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Get up, get up. 
Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Taken down at the 47. So at the end of one quarter, and this one's not enough at three. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and five now following the defensive penalty. Steps out of bounds around the 48-yard line. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. Out of bounds around the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. He's tackled at the 26. That makes it first into 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. And he throws it away. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. He throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the four-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. Louisiana Tech could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line.
complete, and he's hit right away. Inside the 10, knocked out of bounds. The seven yard line. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they'll get him in the backfield. The Bulldogs had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. made this so impressive was first his ability to see where the space was to run and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone and he hits the PAT a seven play 78 yard drive and they put up seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense Oklahoma is lining up to kick this one off he kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick pass. Brought down at the 41. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Scrambling wants to go long and does interception. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First and ten. Ball on their own six. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 30. yard line. It's first down. And he hits him hard. The 39-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. 
gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And they make the stop at the 50. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Six-yard line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. And this play is number eight on the drive. Oklahoma is up four. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Makes the catch and look out. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Play the drive. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 94-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 17-6. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 45-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48. Caught, open field. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he 
converts the extra point. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. So at the end of the half, Oklahoma leads 17-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There are a lot of ways to describe that first half, David. I, I think the best is, let me tell you, these offenses are just putting up video game numbers. But we talk about it week in and week out, and that seems to be a term that we like to use, and it's just high execution, doing everything that you want to do, just like you sitting there pushing buttons on a control. That's how easy it seemed. It didn't seem like there was 90,000 fans in the crowd. It seemed like it was just you at home, sitting on the couch, chilling, pressing the circle button, using the, using the stiff arm, using the ball hawk. Everything just seemed to go perfectly. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He has some room. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. First down. He steps out at the 36-yard line. He's got another one. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at the 10. That makes it third and seven. They come out in a five-wide set. made around the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Oh. Luis 
Louisiana Tech. Kick this one off. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's going to try and scramble. Throws it. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Get hard for a loss. And he just gets rid of it. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the thirty six. Zips it to the back. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's taken down at the 47. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Louisiana Tech has a three-point lead. Great concentration to pull it in. That brings him second and five. hit immediately. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He splits the uprights with the extra point. for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll drop him for a loss. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. That's good for him, 12 yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Tackle made at the 36. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads, he's delivering the football in rhythm, and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. But let's also give credit to this offensive line. Every single time this defense has blitzed, they've been able to protect him and give him the time that he needs to be able to deliver the football downfield. All of his success has led to their advantage on the scoreboard. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. it to the 48-yard line. Looks left, finding his tailback. And they make the stop right around the 40. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? 27-17, Bulldog. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Makes it out to about the 30. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Quick pass, and down he goes around the 25 yard line. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And 
here's a quick throw. Incomplete pass. That's a real danger. If he leaves too many passes short like that, sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Get to that quickly. inbounds to make a nice catch. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 34. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21. Hey. Got some open field. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. That's a He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He's got 300 yards passing now. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. And it's not too often you get a game like this from your quarterback, but it doesn't matter because these guys are still losing in the game. And he adds the extra point. Brought down by the kicker. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. From the 47-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Keep it on the ground again. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. Makes it to the 11. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 10, and he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. They'll 
knock him down for a loss. From the 13-yard line, it's third down. They'll bring him down around the four-yard line. That's good for the yards. That makes it fourth and four. This one's in the books. The Bulldogs take it here. 34-24. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.